And welcome everybody here on Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for the return of Standard Shakeup. This is what we're doing basically all day. Uh, if for some reason this is your first video to watch, this is this new format on Arena that's a lot of fun where you don't have to play against some of the most powerful and annoying cards in Standard. You can see this additional ban list over here on the left, but we've been playing a lot of fun decks today. Our next one is Grixis Alliance. This is a pretty janky one here. Not gonna lie, it's pretty janky, but it looks awesome. This was a donation deck that we played a, a while ago, probably like two months ago or so, um, that we, we played in best of three. We changed just a couple of things to make it a little bit better against aggro, because there's a lot of aggro here, but uh, we're gonna be kind of running it back. I mean, this, is, this gives us an opportunity to play Magic Mirror. Um, you know, like we're, we're playing Magic Mirror and Jace, uh, you know, like this is just kind of a, a crazy deck. Um, but, you know, like we got improbable alliance with a whole bunch of removal spells, you know, Royal Scions in here. Uh, I don't really know how the mana works, you know, trying to cast cry the Carnarium, Jace and a bunch of red spells. Who knows? It worked for us last time, at least worked enough. <laughs> so that's what we're going to see here. If it, if it happens again, um notion rain i remember was was pretty awesome actually like surveil to draw to uh, get to really dig deep and get the card advantage um yeah so here we go let's get some grixis alliance you know just want to play some magic mirror oh, cool basically never get to play magic mirror hopefully we get to get to in this lower powered standard format See? Look at this hand. Perfect. So Jace 4 for drawn cards. <clears throat> and can be a win con also. Because Magic Mirror can just make us draw too many cards and, and then Jace can be a win con if we mill ourselves out. <laughs> You've never seen the Magic Mirror be played? Yeah, it's it's not an easy one to play. Uh, looks like the opponent had pretty awful opening hands, but they're giving it a try on their mold of four. I wish we could have, I wish they could have had, you know, like six or seven cards. Because we have a really good hand here. Heraldic Banner. Magic Mirror. I'm keeping the Fable Passage also because we need a third white source for it. Or, sorry, third blue source for it. No, we didn't get to play our Magic Mirror. Well, that one doesn't seem like much of a win to, to count because the opponent molded to four. But honestly, I think if they keep six or seven cards, we're winning that game. Like, our, our hand was awesome. All right, looks like my opponent's got this one. Notion rain. Some stay dry and others take two damage. Looks like an Esper control deck. Interesting. You know what? Let's let's just play the opt here. Maybe we can find another land. I can wait on the Fable Passage. I don't have to just go grab another Black Source for Ritual of Soot because looks like we maybe need the blue for Jays. But yeah, we got triple black with Dragon God also. Our our man is kind of a mess. So let's let's see what we get with other lands before we make more. Uh, more decisions about this fabled passage.
but I definitely want land. That's what I want. Land. Oh, we're going to be taking a lot of damage. We're down 14 already. Um, I got three black. I don't need this. I need more blue now. So if I cast Notion Rain, I'd have to just go to discard again. Discard another Ritual of Set. But if I don't play it, we're like wasting the three mana. Okay. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm definitely happy with that. Magic mirror. So, uh, it costs four mana right now, as you can see. We have no maximum hand size. Beginning of your upkeep, put a knowledge counter on magic mirror, then draw a card for each knowledge counter on the magic mirror. Come on, resolve. Oh my gosh, they got to drown in the lock of that thing? Because it cost nine mana and we had nine cards exactly in the graveyard? Uh. Boo. Opponent's a jerk. I'm always a step ahead. It's always an Ooh, got rid of an absorb. That's good. Was that supposed to hurt? How many lands we got in this deck? 24, that's it? Wow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Let's 7, 8, this. 9, 10, 11, 12. Alright, what do we get rid of? Ooh, a veto? Man, they're playing a lot of counter spells. They're playing a lot of counter spells. Unfortunately, these black removal spells, none of these killed this guard mage. We need this dragon fire. The undead make great minions. Loyal and silent. Minus or plus? Minus. 
I feel like my opponent has a lot of removal in their hand. I think that's what they're just kind of sitting on creature removal and lands. So that's what it feels like right now. They could, of course, Oath of Kaya kill Liliana. That's okay. We still have to have Jace out. Yeah, I think I think they're kind of like me, just sitting with like with all these things. You know, like Kaya's Wrath, and because of it's this format. Of Alright, get some more lands out. They're at 36 cards in library. I'm at 30. Yeah, I gotta get that second magic mirror. So we're at 16 of our 24 lands halfway through the deck. So the other half of the deck's going to have eight lands. We should hit a lot of spells. What a good mindless we're just kind of making it harder and harder for them to win with them having less cards. Yep, that's our plan. We're milling them out. <laughs> yeah, Elder Spell would be bad. But still, we have a backup Jace. It's, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Mirror, mirror in the library. Rats. This will come in handy. Rats. This looks like a fun new toy. How many lands do we have left? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right, so there's six lands left. 13 spells, six lands. Or eight, 19 spells. 19 spells, six lands. Magic mirror. Putrid, but effective. I wish I played Royal Science first just to do plus two, plus zero to attack for more. So there's, there's still definitely a chance that I'm going to be losing this, especially for how I've been playing. Well, I mean, especially for playing the Magic Mirror. I could mill myself out before I could kill them. And if they kill the Jace in the, during, at the right time... Yeah. 
yeah, Murderous Riders banned. Um, we did see it a spark. But we saw there's a bunch of murders in their deck, which I guess they could have just replaced Murderous Rider with Murder. And Murder is not going to be nearly as good. All right, we 2-0. Oh. No, I don't really have counter spells. Nah, we're just trying to kill stuff. Could have played Cry the Carnarium for that, but we'll save it because they, they could be an improbable alliance deck as well. Or, you know, just have like multiple Arc Light Phoenixes in play. Or Cry can exile multiple Phoenixes. Um. So obviously I don't want to mill my opponent with them being an Arclight Phoenix deck, but I want to get better value out of Cry. Like, I need to be able to exile Phoenix with Cry. Now yeah. Um, the Grixis version, like, the historic... You know, Historic with Fires of Invention was like my was probably the one that I enjoyed the most. As far as Grixis decks recently. Will resonate throughout the multiverse. Um You yeah, it's definitely no a Phoenix deck, and while I'd like to be able to kill the Electromancer, you know, we just have to have Cry for that, so... Yes, they do get to kill my Nicol Bolas Dragon God now. It's just how I life is. Um, if they have Negate, that's pretty rough. That would definitely be rough for me. All right, I was testing them with that first. All right, good. That was up. It's a matter of give and take. I do like this Grixis deck, though. Do you like this one? I lead the way, but my brother... Maybe I should have played Magic Mirror. I will learn what nobody yet knows. Find some pain dust in me. If I would have tapped better, I guess I could have shocked in and played Magic Mirror also. Don't need a second.
Take more lands out. We'll discard the Blood Crypt. My plan is crystallizing. This deck's pretty sweet. Oh, I didn't get to play my Magic Mirror! Ugh. All right, we 3 0. Grixis Alliance. I don't know how this mana works, <laughs> but it somehow does. Thanks, Lucky Killer. Yeah, the playlist, just one that I put together. It's right there. Probable Alliance. No, not really any consideration for Iron Crag Pyromancer. I don't. Not really. Just kind of stays on the the three mana part of the curve and more. You know, it's another payoff card. I think we got enough payoff cards. Doom Whisper. Um, kind of like Legion's End and, and just seeing what they have going on over here. So that I have more information for my Notion, notion Rain. See, I would not have think, thought that they were like a Kalia deck. Well, I guess they would have just untapped and played Kalia. And then I would have been like, whoa, that's a Kalia deck. lands so they have the rampage to make me sacrifice jace or bolus or they could rampage away magic mirror if we find magic mirror but that is pretty cool charming prince with kalia oh no they're just they're scry too they're not flickering kalia Oh, come on. Flickering Kalia is like way cooler. They kept something on top. You know, they kept like a land that they probably wanted. We're going to say no land for you. I guess now they can just use a, a regular removal spell to kill this thing and then kill my Jace, though. I mean, I should just ritual sit it. Oh, really? Oh, or they just do that. I feel like it would have been better for them to use Legion's End on this thing and then attack Jace. But maybe they don't want to attack. So it. I don't have to worry about shocking in for dragon fire because even if we if we draw a black source for dragon god I can I can play I'll have the mana to play dragon god and dragon fire that would be pretty awesome though good and that's the card I wanted to dragon fire so we have the dragon god and the dragon fire but they'll be able to angrath to rampage this away but still Again. Did its job. Made a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, and yeah, and Legion's End would have gave them info too. Yeah, so I should, should just use that. I outsmarted you eons ago. Eons ago. All right, now I could use that magic mirror. I got rid of my ways to get rid of it. Um, all right, get more lands.
hands out of the deck. Looks like we're like doing pretty good, but you know, they still have that Legion's End. So they'll be able to take out these one ones. All right, we're already halfway through our lands, 12 out of the 24, which is about about even because you know, like we're at 34 cards left. So, magic mirror. Surprised they didn't leave them there. I don't know. Cry could do something. You know, like they could play like another Seraph for the scales, and then I attack in, and then cry. No, I'm just going to cry because they killed my magic mirror instead. Um, I'll just let that happen. Good bedevil. So basically, I could turn the bedevil into three one ones. Thrill can target. Thrill can activate the alliances on their turn. I know. I never really get to play this magic mirror. Everyone's hating on the mirror. Scry two to the top. Two to the top. Good draw. My intellect is without limit. I think this game's over. Grixis Alliance 4-0. So much card advantage in here. And selection. Get all those ops and notion reigns. Notion range was, was pretty critical of helping us hit land drops early on in the game, like when we only had three lands. Play the steam vents. Opponents trolling us.
Uh, this could be an important card, but also could be a not very good card. Um. This isn't good. Uh, what would I change here to play a normal standard? You may not need as much early removal in normal standard, but maybe you do. Cavalier Thorns is always a, a difficult one for control decks. You know, obviously you need a sideboard. Um, My my best case is, is discarding the swamp, but then we, and then we draw another black source. But that's not it's not not necessarily guaranteed to happen. Yeah, you probably need more planes. You may need like more planeswalker removal in the main deck. Like Angrass Rampage. Um, I didn't think like Angrass Rampage instead of like a Dragonfire or Coil. I didn't think Rampage was going to be uh, great with this format. I will spare you. This Gingerbread Cabin making this food token you. actually looks pretty awesome. Oh, they just exile the land. Never mind. You exile the food never token. Ending. Yeah, you could play Murderous Rider or Bone Crusher Giant instead of some of those other removal spells. Definitely. That's unfortunate. I went to minus the next turn. Hmm. I think they're going to get this one. Like the Greyhenge and Cavalier Thorns. This one looks pretty over. I'm really not prepared for Cavalier Thorns with this this build that I have. I've survived and I'm just lethal. I will survive you. All right. Hey, we'll take winning four out of five. We'll take that. That's a very good record. Too much hex proof. And I guess I need to be greedier with keeping Liliana and just discarding the swamp. If I would have done that, we did have the other black source to be able to play. Dragon God still. And I could have Dragon God minus and then Liliana. I... Played too much to the Improbable Alliance, I think. Clean 
victories. Hmm. What is my strategy here? Looks like another Phoenix deck. That's my guess. Phoenix decks are pretty popular in this this event. So I want to keep Cry and Coil. These things exile. I will learn what nobody yet knows. Yeah, we, we do have the Exile for the Phoenix decks, which is good. It seems we've encountered another puzzle on our quest. My plan is crystallizing. Yeah, definitely a Phoenix deck. Need that black mana. Black mana. No. Now I need blue mana to play Jason Magic Mirror. This basic mountain is our worst land. Maybe it's not Phoenix. Looks like they just have Thrill of Possibility. There it is. my strategy here. Could have resolved Dragon God and ticked up, but then it kind of makes it easy to kill dragon god if i if i play dragon god in minus it still makes it easy i don't i don't really like shock killing dragon god but maybe that's what i just needed to do to get it out of ionize range I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. Guess I'd rather them counter Liliana than counter Dragon God. They can't have too many more ionizes. We're gonna have to run out of those pretty soon. Mm, a quest of mystery. All right, down to two cards. Got wig. That looks good. That's a lot of cards. I 
I will learn what nobody yet knows. I am one again. Your existence is pointless. Well, even though it's easy to easy to kill. Nicobolus now they kind of have to do direct damage to royal scions to kill royal scion or like to make sure royal scions doesn't ultimate Gross My plan is crystallizing Hey, Kazunato. Welcome from Japan. Yeah, Happy New Year. Dang. That was a really, really nice turn. Improbable Alliance plus Pyromancer plus Double Opt. Very, very nice turn. We got to do both. Kill Bolas and keep me from ultimating. And make a bunch of 2-2s. That was just awesome. I will learn what nobody yet knows. I lead the way, but my brother knows our path. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. Yeah, thanks so much for that Twitch Prime sub there, Cloud. Our 15th sub of the day. I think they've pulled ahead now with that awesome turn. Yeah, Pyromancer looking great. You would have just looted with the Improbable Alliance. I was thinking that by doing that, I still had mana to, to play a removal spell for Pyromancer if I found a removal spell for Pyromancer, which is what I wanted to try to do. But yeah, they've, they've basically had a couple of things that, that have really helped them. Besides, besides these Pyromancers, of course. The Gadwick drawing four cards was just absolutely huge when I looked like I was ahead. But then just the Ionizes, you know, countering some spells that would have been really difficult to deal with. They got two of these things. It's still lethal on... It's just lethal right now. They just sack the Pyromancers. Oh, gosh. They just have that, too. Let's just run up the score. No, there's no Gadwick in this deck. 
I could definitely play Gadwick though. Because yeah, Gadwick is just incredible. Like one of the three Lilianas could be a Gadwick. Definitely. But there are yeah, there are just no creatures in here. Magic Mirror, you're the card that I needed last game. Need this, like, that whole game, like, where you can't really get rid of the artifact. Oh, we just played against S. Lucky a little bit ago. Oh, this is the. Oh, this is the Mardu deck. Yeah, this is the Mardu deck. I'm just gonna use that. I want to have Dragonfire be able to kill Seraph of the Scales. Ugh. Boo. I don't want to play the Notion Rain yet because I don't want to just keep taking two damage, but now I regret not playing that previously. Sure. If they didn't play Kalia, then I would have Legion's ended the Prince. But they did. Alright, the Devil. Helios look insane, or Heliod, you probably mean. Um, I don't think so. But I don't also, I don't remember Heliod's exact text, but um, I did remember thinking like, you know, it was like a three mana god and looked a little more pushed. I mean, I think they might have just pushed the white god out of the cycle because white has not been pushed whatsoever recently. Which would make sense. Yeah, you could... Yeah, yeah. if you don't have... Yeah, Magic Mirror could be replaced by Gadwick. Yeah. That's a good replacement. I'm up for the challenge. Let's think this Maybe I should be ticking up on me and just trying to win with Jace really fast. With Magic Mirror and Jace milling me out. But that plan goes awry after one removal spell on their part.
the magic mirror. Yeah, I am drawing like 20 cards per turn, which is which is why I kind of need to kill my opponent quickly. So if they killed Jace at the wrong time. I'm going to die. <laughs> so many cards. This will come in Ooh, good. Got rid of the devil. I want to cast Thrill of Possibility and make two 1-1s. One we have no maximum hand size anymore because of the Magic Mirror. Yay! Alright, so we went 5-2. and two. So that's pretty good. 5-2, and two, Grixis Alliance. Playing Magic Mirror in Standard Shake-Up. So that's awesome. We got to win some games with Magic Mirror. It does seem like the mana base shouldn't work, but it somehow does. Just a little bit. But yeah, if you want to play this in regular standard, you'd want some more removal for Planeswalkers. Um, the, you know, two Legions and two Coil, two Dragonfire, you could have, like, a couple of those be some Planeswalker removal. Uh, you know, like Angrass Rampage, for example. You could just use that. Um, over one of those. I think Simic Flash would be pretty tough. Them count, like, yeah, basically Simic Flash, like just the counter spell decks in general that counter your more expensive spells. Um, yeah, so you probably need need a good sideboard for that. Uh, you know, it could, could play some more counter magic in here also, though, as well, and play, you know, Ionizes and stuff like that. But it worked out. It worked out just... Worked out well. Yeah, Magic Mirror was awesome there. Yeah, I could play some Narset. Yeah, Narset could work. Gadwick. Lots of cool stuff you can play. All right, so there we go. That's Grixis Alliance. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck, what you think of Standard Shakeup, all that kind of stuff. Leave those comments over there. Hit that like button. I would appreciate doing those. But thank you so much for watching some Grixis Alliance, and I'll see you for the next video.